Hello beautiful strangers and welcome to Cat Reacts. I'm Cat and I react to mostly 80s and 90s films. If that is something that interests you then why don't you subscribe? Today I'll be reacting to a film called Look Who's Talking. It stars John Travolta, Chrissy Alley and probably a whole bunch of other people. I think I've seen it at some point in my life. However, I cannot remember the plot or anything. Like, I haven't seen it repeatedly. I, I know it's about a kid or, or a baby or something. So, when one of you guys requested this film, I thought to myself, I think I've seen it, but it, this might be a good opportunity to uh, refresh my memory, so to speak. And I'm actually excited to uh, check this one out. If you want to join me on the journey of discovering what this film is all about, then great hop on and let's go. Marley, I love you and you love me. I know you do. Of course I love you, Albert. But you're married. Oh. Oh, I, th I thought this was her husband. Okay, not what I expected, but okay. You know I'm leaving, Beth. It just takes time. Right, 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 right. That's what they always say. I'm gonna tell Mr. Ross to give your account to someone else. I won't let him. I'll never let anyone else touch my books. <laughs> Mom, what would you have done if Daddy was married when you first met him? I wouldn't have fallen in love with him. Woman of my liking here. But well, you can't control who you fall in love with. Why not? You just can't. You never used to like my food before. I still don't. Something's wrong. Hungry. Something's wrong. Nothing's wrong. No. Oh, no. Yes. Oh, no. Let's see how far along we are. Whoa! Yo, time out. Holy cow, what was that? How could this have happened? I, I, I'm not going to explain it to you. I don't want to pressure you or trap you. It's just that this baby, it's you and me. This is going to be an incredible baby. It is going to be a great kid, isn't it? Say, so, hey, what are you going to tell people? You don't can't... worry. I'm going to tell everybody I got artificially inseminated. What? How could you do such a thing? This is the kind of a thing a girl does if she's very ugly or a lesbian. By the second trimester, one can identify the vulva or penis. Oh, uh, look at that. Another little arm coming in down there. What's it doing way down there? Okay, so it's a boy. You know, you shouldn't gain too much weight. She's pregnant. She can gain as much weight as she wants. Have you been practicing your Lamaze? I quit. You quit? Well, the whole thing's just a bunch of breathing. That's the point of Lamar's love. I want a baby. Should I have one with Neil? You love him? No. Oh. Albert, what's going on? Molly, I've fallen in love. But I'm, I'm going to live with Melissa. Molly, this is happening. I'm going through a selfish phase right now. Well, at least the guy admits it. A selfish face, Albert, you dick and stupid dick Hey, oh, whoa, hey, what the? Oh. St. Jerome's Hospital. Ah. Oh, shit. Okay. You want me to call your husband when we get to the hospital? Well, I don't have a husband. Uh, how about your boyfriend? Look, if you have to know my life history, I was artificially inseminated. Hey, what are you, Lesbo? Uh, Put these things on over your clothes. Yeah. Come on, man. But I'm not the father. <laughs> Okay, okay, this will pass. Oh, watch the head. Wow. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, thank you a really lot. Ah, now that is a little more like it. Whoa. The kid is high? Hey, what's that little light down there? Push. <laughs> One more. No, no, don't push. Hey, stop with the pushing already. Hey, I'm falling. Oh, oh. <laughs> Oh! Well, this is a new perspective. You never think of how traumatic it is for the child to be born. So you're the one that's been kicking me. You were the one that ate all that spicy food. Look at all those daddies down there. Well, you won't find your father here. I really messed things up for you. I don't want you to be upset because I'm going to find you a daddy. And this time I'm going to be smart about it. Look, I'm sorry I hit you and yelled at you the other day. How you doing, pal? How do you like New York so far? Hey, it's my kind of town. How did you know where I lived? You left it in the cab. Oh. Okay, okay. I thought he was just being a creep. How you doing, Mikey? I'm James. Hey, James. Good to meet you. How do you know his name is Mikey? She never said his name, ever. Due to changing hormones, over 80% of all women experience postpartum depression. Well, I'm not gonna. <laughs> oh. Help, help! Oh, 
Oh, money burnt me before I blow up. Oh. Uh. Oh, thank you. Hello. Where's my grandson? Oh, okay. There we go. Way too much powder on him. Why don't you get out of this house, huh? I'm gonna give Mikey a little bath then. <laughs> We're gonna have a baba. Hmm? Uh, what? <laughs> He's like, who is that crazy lady? Hi. Hey. What is he always doing around? More mail for Vincent Ubriaco. Put him up here. Postman will take care of him. It's good to see you again. It's good seeing you too. You stupid son of a bitch for stealing my mail. I'm not stealing your mail. What did you just put in your pockets? The mail for Vincent, I assume. So it's not your mail. My my grandfather is Vincent, okay? And he's been kicked out of an old age home. And I found the place for him in Manhattan. But I'm not a resident. I live in Englewood. So I was thinking, you know. So you wanted to use my mailing address to set up residency? Yeah, well, that's, yeah. Look, I'll do something for you, okay? Yeah, like what? Well, I'll babysit. All right, then. Friday nights. And during my aerobics classes. And you can't bring chicks over. No, no, don't give in. <sighs> All right, it's a deal. Sucker. Oh my god, that was cute. <laughs> that was cute. What do you say? Do you and me take a ride so your mother can sleep? No! No, 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 that is not okay. You do not take the baby out of the apartment while the mother is asleep. What if she wakes up? Now, this is called driving. When you get older, I'm going to teach you how. So you assume you're going to stay in this child's life, even after the mother wakes up and finds out you kidnapped the baby? I'm going to ask you put the little stick in a hole, and you make a loud noise, and move the big circle around and around. No problem. I can do this. I can drive. Oh, no. Mikey? See, now a real panic sets in. Hello, y yes, I want to report a missing baby. Honey, I'm home. My baby. Oh, honey, honey, honey. Whoa! Ooh. Stupid, stupid Stop idiot. It. I called the police. I was worried out of my mind. You knew I was with him. Who was that? The babysitter. He's not the frozen pop, is he? Ma! Alright, give me the baby. Ma, you know what? You were right. Mikey does need a father. I keep going out with all these guys, and they're just not good enough for him. Gotta find someone you have something in common with. I just thought of someone perfect for you. No, Ma, please. Well, hello. <laughs> Boy, Rosie didn't tell me you were beautiful. <laughs> I'm surprised. That's usually the first thing she tells people. But thank you. Hi, little guy. How you doing? Who's this yutz? What are you all dressed up for? Oh, baby, I got myself a hot day tonight. But Molly, she's a tough girl. What do you mean, tough? She can take care of herself? She hates it when guys, like, open doors for her or try to pick up the tab, do. pay for things. Really pisses her off. Really? She's liberated, huh? Liberated? Come on. Guy babysitter? Sorry. What was I saying? Hey, 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 can I get paid? So, she's literally paying for everything. Two, please. You ready? I think a lot of guys would tend to feel very threatened by a woman being so liberated and always wanting to pay for everything. What are you talking about? Your babysitter gave me some helpful hints for tonight. Oh, he did, did he? Sure. I'm home. Mm. You can go on your date now. Uh-huh. Hey, where's she going? Who's that big guy? Oh, that's okay. That's her daddy. Well, what's a daddy? What do they do? Well, you know the big men types and they hang around with the mommies? The mommies. I get it. Well, maybe I'll ask James to be my daddy. We're stopping for a bite to eat? No, this is your new place. Get enough candy in here to last him for about a month. Give him one candy bar a day, that's it, okay? And don't let him find the bag, because he'll eat all of it. No problem. Oh my God, this guy's worse at this than I am. Here, let me give you a hand. Oh. Open up. Come on. Taste it. Open wide. There we go. <laughs> Please, Molly, you have to give me a second chance. These past months have been like a bad dream. I'm gonna burst if I don't kiss you soon. Top. Oh! oh. Molly. How's Mickey? Mikey. Is he talking yet? No. Why are you interested? 
Molly, I know you've been through a lot, but you've got to believe I love you. No, you don't. You don't. Otherwise, you would not have put her through this. I think about you and Mikey every day. You never know it from our end. He has my eyes. I know he does. You have no idea how confusing it is to love someone so much who looks like someone you hate. Can I see you, Molly, please? All right. I'll be home later on this evening. Is Molly here? No, she's at aerobics class. Is Mikey here? Who are you? I'm his father. No, he doesn't have a father. He's, he's from artificial insemination. That's my kid in there. Please let me bond. Hey! Come on. Hey! You lied to me about the artificial insemination crap, didn't you? He was married. I wasn't supposed to tell anyone. Do you love him? What? Do you love him? I don't know. I don't know who I love. Well, I don't want him seeing Mikey anymore. He's his son, and he has a right to see him anytime he wants to. Where the hell has he been all year? This has nothing to do with you. You are not his father. I'm the closest thing that he's got to it. You really think you're responsible enough to be a father? Responsible? You, you call getting pregnant by a married guy responsible? Oh, that's good. Stop it. You stop it. You stop it! I don't know if I can keep coming around to see you anymore. Why? What's the matter? It's your mom. She's got this crazy idea that, that I wouldn't make a good enough father for you. I think being a good father is, is, is keeping the mother happy so she doesn't drive the kids crazy. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she's probably right. You're one year old and probably my best friend in the world. Oh. I miss you. We're gonna go see Daddy today. Oh, great. I was just thinking about James. Hey, fella. What you doing, huh? What you doing? Ooh. Aren't you a handsome little How about man? a little milk oh, yes. right in your eye there? Oh. Damn it. <laughs> Bullseye. Wait. I still love you when I... So? You, you will opt out. And what about Mikey? Well, as you know, you can always count on me if... Is there anything you need for him? I need a father for him. I can't be anybody's father now. What am I going to tell him when he asks about his daddy? No, oh, no, not him. I want James to be the daddy. Don't do that here. That's a $10,000 desk. Now it's junk. Sorry you had to meet that mean man. You'll never have to see him again. Everybody loves you. Ma loves you. Rona loves oh. you. Everybody at work loves you. James loves you. Do you love James? Call him. Hello, this is Lou Franklin, and I got a big problem with your grandfather here. I'm a hostage. He's not a hostage. He's a mean old bastard. Of all my daughter in laws you're my favorite. You're smart, and you're a good person. That's why Jimmy loves you so much. Where's the director's office? Down the hall. Okay, come on, Mikey. Come with Mama. Later, we're busy. Yeah, I'll keep my eye on him for you. The orderly was told by my husband to give him one candy bar a day and lock up the rest of the candy. And the orderly agreed. He said, no problem. Well, then that was Bill. Bill always says, no problem. What do you mean? That's all he can say. The man can't speak English. Oh, so can Grandpa stay? Of course he can stay. Thank you. Oh, I arranged it so that your grandfather could stay. I know, I heard. DJ, time for lunch, man. Let's go. Hi, Vince. Hello, Esther. I'd like you to meet my grandson. Hey, there goes James. James, James, wait a minute. But you're the beauty. Uh oh. Partner. Where's that Ella? Uh oh. Grandpa, Grandpa, where's Mikey? He was just here. I'm calling the police. Which one of you dames wants to help me find my dad? That's Otto's grandson. Go back to your grandma. Yeah, thanks, babe. Thanks for nothing. Uh, let me see if I remember this. Let's see. I just stick this thing right in here. There it goes. The circle around and we're off. He's in the back of the car. Kept. Hey, James. No, James, look at me. James, I'm driving. Hey, how about this? Mikey. Mikey, he's gone. This looks like a good place to spot him. Mikey! Mikey, stop! Hey, James, mommy! James, did you see what just happened? Why, that rattled my nurse. I can't believe it. He doesn't have a scratch on him. Look, I'm glad I finally got you both together. Ma, I want James to be the daddy. Dada! He said, he said oh, dad, dad. Mean, I, I think he called you dad, dad. No, I'm talking to hear myself speak. He, he must think that you are well, his father. I spent father. enough time with him. Yeah, you have spent a lot of time with him. 
Boy, I hope they don't get stuck together like that. <laughs> okay, let's talk about it. Okay, that was me watching Look Who's Talking. It was good. It was really, it was sweet. It was fun. Like, it, it was not gonna win any Oscars, but it was interesting to watch a film from the perspective of the kid. I've sometimes wondered, like, what are babies thinking? Toddlers who haven't started speaking. What goes on in their mind? So it, it was interesting. It was, yeah, I would give you like three out of five. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'll put a new videos five days a week. I'll see you in the next video.